with Tyler Courtney and Justin Peck leading the field to green the next time by. Brent Marks and Rico Abreu in row two. Anthony Macri and Parker Price Miller in the third row. Kyle Larson and Brad Sweet in row four. Jacob Allen and Spencer Bainston in row number five. Corey Eliason and Cole Macedo in row six. Brenham Crouch, Austin McCarl, Corey Day and Chris Windham, Dominic Selzy, Zeb Wise, Eric Riggins Jr., Tanner Thorson, Casey Kane, Dylan Norris, Davey Franick, Ryan Timms, and Danny Smith. Golden Isle Speedway, we got them racked, we got them stacked, and we've got the grandstands packed. Let's go racing off of turn number four. We are green. Rolling into turn number one, Tyler Courtney's going to get the first call down the back straightaway. Justin Peck right there behind him as they work into turn number three. Brent Marks running in third, Rico Abreu fourth. As they come across the line, one lap down and 24 to go. Car sideways in the middle of the field. That was Jacob Allen, stacks up a bunch of guys down the front straightaway. Close call there for Allen, nearly lost the car right in front of the entire field. Brad Sweet already coming forward there as he gets by Rico Abreu. Sweet's now up to fifth and working on Parker Price Miller down the front straightaway. Tyler Courtney shows the way. 23 laps to go for the 7 DC. Already got a big gap over the 13 at Justin Peck, just like what we saw in the FK Rod Inns dash. Down the front straightaway, here comes Brent Marks now working on the 13 at Peck. Parker Price Miller still in fourth as the number four of Danny Smith pulls into the infield. His night will come to an end. Brad Sweet runs in fifth. Six is Rico. Seventh is Spencer Basin. Eighth is Kyle Larson. Ninth is Anthony Macri. And tenth is Corey Eliason. Traffic already a factor for Tyler Courtney as he comes into turn number three. He'll catch the back of the field this time by off of turn number four. Courtney now working on Davey Frantic, D Dylan Norris, and Eric Riggins Jr. This race will be won in traffic here tonight at Gold Mile Speedway as Courtney makes his way by the 28F of Frantic into turn three. Here comes Justin Peck off of turn number four. Peck closing in for the top spot. Justin Peck now to the inside in turn three. Shows the nose to Courtney. Courtney knows he's there now as they work down the back straightaway. Courtney, next car in front of him is Dylan Norris. Here comes Justin Peck around the outside. May have a new leader off of turn number four. No, Courtney still got it. Close there at the line, and now Courtney nearly gets into the back of Dylan Norris. And now here comes Brent Marks and Parker Price Miller. The top four on the same straightaway. Now Courtney goes around the outside of Dylan Norris. Great move right there from Sunshine. Peck makes a mistake, loses some ground to Sunshine there as they make their way back into turn number one. All of a sudden, it's a three-car battle as Brent Marks shows his way into the picture. Brent Marks now into the picture here as the 9 p.m. Parker Price Miller trying to get involved as well. Courtney now working on the 47 of Eric Riggins Jr. to turn number one. Courtney struggling to get around the outside of the lap cars. Now he gets by Riggins off of turn two. Courtney now has some time to breathe here. That next car is quite a ways up the road, the 88X of Austin McCarl. Peck now finally getting by Dylan Norris, still has Riggins in front of him if he wants to be on the, or with no lap cars between himself and your race leader. Parker Price Miller now up to third, gets by Brent Marks the last time by. Rico's back there as well. Here comes Spencer Basin as well. Here comes the number five car. Brad Sweet underneath the 19 of Brent Marks trying to get up to that fourth position, but that 17 of Dylan Norris right in the proper racing groove, and Sweet can't make the pass on the 19 as they work off a of four. Tyler Courtney, huge lead now as the 13 of Peck is struggling here as the 88 of Austin McCarl pulls that car into the infield. No lap cars between your first and second place cars now, but a full straightaway is the gap that Peck needs to make up. Next time by, 11 laps to go for Tyler Courtney as he makes his way back into turn three. The next car he's got to deal with is the 88 of Tanner Thorson. Good race going on here for that third spot. Brent Marks side by side with Parker Price Miller in a turn number one, and Brent Marks has got the third spot. Here comes Brad Sweet as well. Brad Sweet trying to get up to the 9P of Parker Price Miller and get it by him for that fourth position. Courtney working on the back of the field once again. Can't get by Tanner Thorson. Struggling to get by the Rod Gross Motorsports 88 cars. They work back into three and four. Courtney, it is very slick right to the middle right now. Still can't make the pass, and Justin Peck closing in. Justin Peck closing back in. Now about 10 car lengths separate your top two. Brent Marks, no lap cars between himself. Oh, look out right in front of Courtney. Casey Kane gets sideways and nearly clips the 7 BC. Casey Kane now side by side with Tanner Thorson right in front of your second place car of Justin Peck. That's going to impede his progress a little bit. This time by seven laps to go for the 7 BC. And heavy traffic in front of Tyler Courtney. Into turn number one, Courtney with five cars all over each other as they work off a two. 
car pulling off the track, a little contact between Davey Frantic and Cole Nacido, and that might draw the caution. It does not, we stay green. Green flag stays out, Courtney. Masterful drive right now through traffic. Good race for second now as Brent Marks is working on Justin Peck for P2. Brent Marks trying to find a way by the 13 of Justin Peck coming into the night. Marks, one of just four drivers, has been in the top 10 in every single high limit race so far this season. To the inside, makes the pass for second. Brent Marks up to second. Peck trying to come back at him on the inside for P2. Can't make the pass. Four to go but this time by for Tyler Courtney. Parker Price Miller still running in fourth, has held off the challenges of Brad Sweet. Now Sweet's under fire from Spencer Baston off at turn number two. This time by three laps to go for Tyler Courtney. And Brent Marks is closing in even while he's getting by some of these slower cars. Marks looks like he might be the best car on the racetrack right now, but just too little too late. Two to go this time by for Tyler Courtney. Sunshine, a couple more cars to deal with. Eric Riggins Jr. and the 26 of Zeb Wise. Coming around to the white flag this time by. One to go for Sunshine. Marks not close enough. Courtney, an absolute masterclass getting through lap traffic here tonight at Golden Isles Speedway. Through three and four, he will win the first ever 410 sprint car race here at Golden Isles. Give it to Tyler Courtney. Second goes to Brent Marks, third to Justin Peck, fourth Parker Price Miller, and fifth at the line will go to Spencer Baston. Your unofficial results in this one, finishing 10th, the 1A of Jacob Allen, ninth to the number eight of Corey Eliason, 8th to the 57 of Kyle Larson, 7th to 24 of Rico Avery, 6th to 49 of Brad Sweet, 5th to 5 of Spencer Basin, 4th to 9P of Parker Price Miller, 3rd to the 13 of Justin Peck, 2nd goes to the 19 of Brent Marks, and your winner, it's the 7DC for the second race in a row, Sunshine Tyler Courtney. Courtney now making his way across the scales and into the Tech area to make sure it is official. And it is official. He wins two races in a row with the Highland Racing Series. Tyler Courtney heading towards Whiskey Myers victory lane. Tyler Courtney climbing out of the NOS Energy Drink number seven BC, gets the Hoosier tire neckband, and he is ready to getting ready to climb on top of the Clawson Marshall Racing at 7 BC. That is two wins in a row with the High Limit Sprint Car Series. Tyler Courtney wins tonight at Golden Isles Speedway. Climbs off the back of the car and will make his way around the front of the 7 BC to talk to Tony Laporta. Chase, it was just a little over a week ago since we last saw this scene right here, and that was Tyler Courtney, the driver they call Sunshine. Well, right now, they call him Victorious. Back-to-back -back wins with the High Limit Racing Series. You got a trip to the Daytona 500 in the middle. You've had some fun down here in the southeast coming from Florida up to Georgia, but right now, you got to be having a lot of fun yeah. driving this number 7 BC. You caught traffic so fast. How hectic was that race? It was crazy because, like, uh, there's parts of the track I felt like I could run pretty good, but if you just got your air just a little bit wrong, it, it uh, you, you lose your grip pretty quick and kind of slide and just uh, try to backpedal it to get going back the other way as quick as you could. And obviously, I don't know where anybody else is at on the track. And um, I knew running behind the lap cars, I was getting pretty slow, so I had to start moving around. And I felt like I did those at the right time. Uh, there at the end when I caught Zev, I knew it was going to be tough to pass him either on the bottom or, or around the top because he was just good enough to get off the corner to really clear him. So. Yeah, but uh, I can't say enough about our, our not sitting drink, Elliot's Custom Trailer 7, and Jake, Bobby, Ron, uh, our whole team at Cost Marshall Racing. We just uh, had an awesome start to the season, and our, our, our Florida Georgia swing now uh, has been, been amazing and just uh, just awesome. And I uh, just want to uh, uh, say this is for uh, the Knuckles family. I raced quarter minutes with them. Uh, they lost Jeff today, so um, um, sorry for, for their loss. And uh, he's a great man and great family, so uh, that's for them. 
Last time you and I talked back in Tampa Bay, we discussed the fact that with High Limit Racing here in 2024, we have had an anonymous donor step up, and this is something that you enjoyed back during the All-Star Circuit of Champions days, but we have an anonymous donor that has stepped up here in 2024 with High Limit, and this anonymous donor has made the commitment that any time a full-time high roller, someone who is committed to the entire High Limit Racing season, wins a feature, that donor is going to make a $1,000 donation to the charity of that night driver, that driver who wins that night's choice. We talked about it in Tampa. Who are you donating that money to this week? Uh, my buddy Ben again with uh, today's Champions and Racers for Autism. Uh, it's a, a great family friend of ours and, uh, you know, really try to do as much as we can to help out their, their organization. And, and uh, they have a fundraiser every year around BC39 that they get all the stuff from us drivers and uh, donations throughout the whole year. So just uh, this one's for them and uh, hopefully we get to keep doing it throughout the season. All right. Yesterday you said this place is tricky. What do you think of Golden Isles now? It's still tricky. Um, I think, you know, we finally got to see some some shine on the racetrack there and I think Saturday um, when we're racing both with the late models and, and the 410s it's uh it's gonna get uh, even more trickier when it when it's when those slick spots are they're pretty dang slick and the grippy spots are grippy so you go from spinning to tight and uh, everywhere in between so it's a really tricky racetrack but uh, I think that's what makes for uh, you know make, makes racing fun when you go, come to these places nobody's ever seen before and uh, you try to figure out before the other guys and obviously tomorrow night uh, or Saturday night I guess um, you know everybody's you know got a, a whole night under them now it's gonna be you know even uh, even more more uh, uh, difficult uh, you know come Saturday we've got a man a, a stack group of guys here on high limit and uh, it's just uh, awesome to be a part of it back-to-back -back trips to victory lane for the driver of the 7 bc gold niles makes noise for your winner tyler courtney <laughs> brett marks started this race off in the third position ran second are you as surprised as i am that that thing went clean to green all the way to the checker yeah a little bit um you know i, I thought we'd have a couple yellows there but everybody did a great job out there and you know we uh i felt like we had a really good car all night long we just struggled in the heat race a little bit but uh turned his car around here uh, you know in a dash and then made some more adjustments there for the feature and you know really started coming on at the end just um you know as much as we started third and started up front there just you know still track position so we just needed a little bit better starts you know i fell back to fourth at one point and i had to work my way back to third and then run um justin down there to get the second and uh, I felt like we had a really good car compared to the Tyler, but it's also felt like we were too equal as well so to uh, kind of work my way up there to challenge him for a win. But um, all in all, it's, you know, it was a great night for us. Uh, can't complain about seconds. You know, we, we love to be up here on the podium. And, you know, this whole Murray Marks Motorsports, uh, McGrewbid.com, m and Painting Construction, Livewire Customs, BAPS Paints, uh, Fredericksburg Eagle Hotel, number 19, was just a lot of fun to drive tonight. And, and the uh, track was really challenging, and, you know, as a driver, uh, that's, that's fun to, uh, you know, have a challenge. So looking forward to Saturday and seeing uh, what, what uh, you know, what this place does and what kind of track we get. And just, um, you know, it's going to be really fun if it gets really slick and we can really, really uh, get up against the wall and work the bottom and, and just kind of slide all over the place. It'll be a lot of fun. So I love the shape of it, and, um, you know, love uh, – Love being here, so I'm just uh, thankful for the opportunity to bring the High Limit Racing Series here to the Golden Isle, and um, looking forward to Saturday. Brent Marks started third, ran second, and he is looking forward to Saturday night here as we will get to the uh, second time you'll see the sprint cars on track here with Deuce as well. Justin Peck, which side of the race car he's going to come out on this side? Justin Peck. Man, that thing went uh, clean and green all the way to the finish, so that caused a lot of hectic reaction up at the front for you guys, the leaders. But I got to think, after a really tough weekend at East Bay in both the 410 and the 360, you got to be happy to be out of Florida and put this Book Motorsports number 13 on the podium in third. Yeah, it feels good to, to finish one of these things, you know, and um, it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't for lack of effort. I mean, it's even di dicing through traffic there. I mean, there was a couple times I really had to woe up. You know, guys were beating and banging in front of me, in front of me, and I was like, oh my god, am I gonna crash out again? But, uh, you know, like my guys did a really good job. Um, <clears throat> you know, I felt like in, in in open air, you know, I was pretty decent. Um, I felt like I had a really strong race car, but um, I just couldn't get through traffic uh, the way I needed to to to, to make, really make a, a strong strong run at Courtney. Just, you know, if I if I tried to get up off the bottom over there in three and four, I just I couldn't stick it like like I felt like I wanted to, and um, you know, just uh, just kind of was forcing myself to the bottom, and then uh, you know really tried to move around and figure it out. I felt like I was pretty comfortable in second, and then um, you know Brent Brent got under us and showed me his nose on the dead bottom, and um, you know he was able to really follow traffic and really stick the bottom really well and, and come off low and um, you know once I started doing that I, I felt a lot better so um, just you know like I said uh, 
feel like if I maybe if I stuck to the bottom, I might have run second there. Um, maybe had a shot at Sunshine, but uh, those guys were good, man. He could kind of move around a little bit, a little bit more than I could. I felt like and, and make some grip. So um, you know, just really pleased with this with this Avani Coastal Race Parts, uh, big spring car wash, water treatment by design, uh, RKL paving. You know, Jake's custom cars 13. It's um, you know, it's been pretty fast, and um, these HP engines are, are are hitting pretty good. You know, it's uh, we were able to get a heat race win there and uh, run second at Dash. So uh, put in a strong show tonight, and we'll uh, come back Saturday hopefully uh, a little bit stronger. That's your third place finisher, Justin Beck, in the number 13 machine. He finishes third, Brent Mark second, and Sunshine Tyler Courtney goes back to back with victories here with High Limit in 2024. Chase, I hyped up the uh, Frozen Farmer pick pint, talked about how the choose cone's really going to play a, uh, a factor in this race. Well, the drivers went and proved me completely wrong because we never had a yellow, we never had a restart, and we never needed to use that Frozen Farmer pick point. But nevertheless, still an entertaining race. Tyler Tyler Courtney gets his second win in only three races here in 2024. And the common denominator down here amongst the top three, all these drivers are really looking forward to getting back on track on Saturday. Good stuff down here, Chase. Let's go back up top to you.